We see lack of transportation as a, a poverty issue, especially in rural counties. This spring, the Ohio State Bar Association traveled to New Lexington, Ohio for the Perry County Driver's License Reinstatement Clinic. The first of these clinics to take place in a rural Ohio county, the program was part of the Reinstatement Fee Amnesty Initiative, a six-month pilot program created by House Bill 336 in the 132nd General Assembly. The Perry County Clinic was a true collaboration. About 85 clients pre-registered to see eight attorney volunteers. Uh, we don't have a local TV station or a local radio station. So this has been word of mouth. Uh, Judge Dean Wilson of the Perry County Municipal Court and District 9 representative to the OSBA Board of Governors provided his courthouse as a venue for the clinic. I think pro bono is something that's necessary in our profession. There is much too large of an access to justice gap and there's a great need for people who can't afford our services. So that's first and foremost one great reason to get involved. The other is at a clinic like today you're getting a lot of really great hands-on instruction and so you're learning new skills that you can then apply in your regular private practice for paying clients. Members of the OSBA Young Lawyers section traveled from across the state to participate in the pro bono work. We kind of just tried to eliminate all the excuses that people have for not doing pro bono. Um, people think they're not going to know the subject matter, um, but you know, Legal Aid has provided a pretty robust CLE and in information, so that, that excuse is eliminated. And the Ohio Legal Assistance Foundation and Southeastern Ohio Legal Services were on site to facilitate, as well as provide training and insurance for participating attorneys. People think that they can't do it because they don't have malpractice insurance. Um, legal Aid provides malpractice insurance. We eliminated that excuse. So Legal Aid's role in these sort of clinics has mostly been facilitating volunteers, um, supporting them with training that they need for people that aren't familiar with um, traffic suspensions issues. We think it's a great opportunity for attorneys to get involved just in a few minutes or a few hours. You can really make a big impact in clients' lives. Just trying to make it as easy as possible so that people can volunteer as much as possible. The Ohio Bureau of Motor Vehicles and the Perry County Department of Job and Family Services were also on site. I think it's very important that attorneys volunteer their time, especially in a rural area like Perry County. Uh, oftentimes folks, they have a lot of challenges and one of them is financial. And so even though they may be eligible to have a driver's license or there may be a few simple steps that they can take to be, become eligible for, to be a, a licensed driver, they don't have that ability to hire an attorney to do so. So a program like this takes down that barrier and allows those people to, to accomplish the simple steps, get licensed, and that really helps the community as a whole. Every lawyer has an obligation to do his or her part to uh, try to provide lawyers for people who can't pay fees. It's in the preamble of our ethical code. So to me, it's a double benefit. We get to help people who really need it, but then we also get to better ourselves as attorneys as well. Whether it's this, whether it's doing something else pro bono, or giving money to support legal aid. I think it's all of our responsibilities. To get involved and to see a list of volunteer opportunities at upcoming clinics around the state, visit ohiobar.org slash license clinics.